Finally tonight, dog owners out walking their pets probably enjoy the odd admiring glance or complimentary comment about their animals. But one woman from South Yorkshire is getting quite used to gasps of surprise from passers-by. Yes, that's because she has something pretty unusual on the end of her lead, and it's been causing quite a stir in her hometown of Dromfield. Here's Victoria Whittam. Okay. I've got a good one for you. What has four legs, is furry and walks on a lead. Bet you weren't expecting that, were you? Walk on the dog. I'm just a walk on the dog. If you don't know how to do it, I'll show you how to walk the dog. Well, Oreo is, ne is nearly 10 months old. Um, originally they come from North America, Oreo, however, comes from Warrington, actually. And we were very lucky, we were lucky, he wasn't so lucky, that his mother, um, didn't, his raccoon mother, didn't have any milk, didn't produce any milk, so he was brought to us at three days and we've hand reared him. People usually think he's a badger or a ferret or a polecat. We even had people ask if he's a monkey. <laughs> You actually have lots of exotic animals, don't you? Tell me about them. Right, we've got uh, three meerkats. We've got two African small spotted genets. We've got, obviously, we've got the two raccoons. We've got two North American skunks. And we've got three kinkajous. Most people know them as honey bears. And just how many hours does it take you to um, feed all these animals? Well, actually, it's my partner, John, that does most of it. Um, obviously, because I work during the day. I do a fair amount of it in the evening. Um, it takes up an awful lot of time. It costs an awful lot of money. Um, we do do a lot of exotic awareness, raising of exotic awareness with the animals, though. Sort of trying to educate people to the right way of keeping them and to be responsible towards exotic animals. Despite all of these exotic creatures that you've got, you actually have a fear of an animal that can be found in anyone's back garden, don't you? I do. Nobody ever quite believes me that I'm absolutely petrified of earthworms and it is a complete nutophobia. Ah, that explains the raccoon then, because that's exactly what they eat, isn't it? They do, yeah. He eats and also all sorts of things. He eats cat kibble, dog kibble, fruit, veg, nuts, and he will eat slugs, snails, earthworms, all sorts of creepy crawlies that he can get his hands on. He'll probably give you a demonstration now. He's having a little dig for something now. <laughs> well, I think Oreo is absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully, I'll get a cuddle with him later. You will. Absolutely gorgeous, but the meerkat wasn't... Was he Mike beat, on camera one? Our no, it bit Mike this Made afternoon. <laughs> He's not well, bless him. Let's have Kerry with the weather now.